What is root? And why would you want to root your phone? Well, these are questions we're going to try to answer in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and in today's video, let's take a look at five awesome features or capabilities that would be unlocked on your phone once you manage to gain root access. But before we do that, here's a card to a latest giveaway. I'll also leave a link in the description below. And while you're down there, do click that bell icon so that you get notified every time a new video goes live on C4 Retech. Now, even a couple of years back, I routinely used to root and flash custom ROMs on my devices. But in the last 24 months or so, I found myself doing it less often. Well, because we've been covering way too many phones. But in fact, one of the primary drives for rooting a device was just to uninstall bloatware and get smooth performance. These days, those smartphones have evolved to an extent where even a budget Redmi 5 can perform adequately and not annoy you with lags and hiccups. But does that mean rooting has lost its place? Well, it's not quite that either. Based on a question on Ash Answers a while back, I took a chance and decided to root my OnePlus 5T. And there are a few things I really ended up liking. And here they are in no particular order. Number one, Magisk modules. If you're someone who has recently rooted a device, then you'd be pretty familiar with Magisk Manager and how it works. For those of you who are out of the loop, Magisk is uh, one of the easiest and safest ways to root a device and, and I highly recommend it. But there is more to Magisk than just simply installing Super SU on your phone. Magisk has several little applets or modules as you might call them. These are individually downloadable and you can use the ones you find interesting. I downloaded two onto the OnePlus 5T, the dual speaker mod that I found really interesting. I like dual speakers. I mean, it worked out quite well. And then of course, exposed module. I know a lot of you guys also want to know how to improve sound quality on your phones. And with the Viper 4 Android Magisk module, that's pretty easy too. Want us to make a separate video on it? Let us know in the comments below. Now I did just mention Exposed, but let me now get into it in a bit more detail. There are multiple ways of installing Exposed through custom recovery, through Magisk, but no matter what way you choose to follow, you end up with this app. Now the beauty of Exposed lies in the fact that there's so much you can do with it. Now, not all of Exposed module has been shifted over to Android Oreo. So if you're interested in running it on Android 8 and above, I'll leave a link in the description uh, to a list of mods that have been verified to work with Oreo. Now for our testing, we downloaded two mods, Swipe to Seek on YouTube and Play Videos in the background. They worked exactly the way we expected them to. Now while Exposed is great for tinkering around and customizing your stock ROM, sometimes a change of scene is needed. Well, that's why we decided to give Lineage OS a try. Now do remember that there are some inherent risks that are involved while flashing a custom ROM. That's why we always recommend you do a full Android backup of your current ROM before you make any changes to it. As far as Lineage OS goes, I chose it because of its focus on privacy and security. It's stock based and there is quite a bit of nice visual flair to it, which I like. You might not though, but that's the beauty of having custom ROMs. You can pretty much pick and choose whatever one that you like. Resurrection Remix, Omni-ROM, Paranoid Android, or some of the popular ones that we've used. Now, rooting and flashing ROMs are in the same thing, and sometimes you don't need to do something as drastic as flashing a ROM, so we kinda, you know, went off topic there. But then again, there are loads of root-only apps like Greenify, Kernel Auditor, and others that are available for you to try out right from the Play Store itself. Now, here are a few that we suggest. Uh, our favorites include Titanium Backup, which helps you backup every app. Yeah, the state where you're at, freeze apps that you can't uninstall, uninstall apps uh, that you wouldn't by default be allowed to uninstall. Another one would be Greenify. With Greenify, you can set up strict rules to keep your battery consumption under check. And with the Kernel Auditor app, you can keep the temperature of your phone under control. Pretty cool, right? But there's one app in this list that is so cool that it deserves an entire section, probably an entire video to itself. That one is Tasker. Now, since I don't want to make this video too long, I will just show a simple location-based task that Tasker can do. But trust me guys, there are people out there who, who have achieved home automation using Tasker. In fact, if you're willing to experiment and dig around a bit, you can even log into your PC using just Tasker. In fact, what we showed you just now that barely scratches the surface of automation. And while you can use Tasker without root, you'd be missing out on most of the fun stuff. 
So that about wraps this one up from my end. It's been a while since we've had a rooting video out on C4 Retech. So tell us what you think about this. And if you're someone who does tinker around with your phone, or if you know someone who'd like to tinker around with their phone, share this with them. We take your opinions very seriously. So go on to the comment section below. Tell us which one of these apps you have heard of or used in the past. And if you are looking forward to rooting your device to use any of these super cool apps. If you hate these kind of videos about smartphones tinkering around and all that, then you know what to do. But if you did like it, go ahead, drop us a giant like, subscribe to C4 Retech and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our daily content. Now, before I bid you adieu, I just wanted to say generally, as far as rooting phones go, I prefer to do it after the first one year uh, period has worn off. You know, uh, most of the major updates end up happening in the first year. And if, again, you have warranty. Some brands do not uh, provide you uh, warranty and support if you rooted your phone. So if you have an older device lying around, do not, I wouldn't suggest buying a brand new S9 Plus and going ahead rooting it. Probably wait a little bit. Any device that you've had lying around for a bit, that's where a fresh coat of paint would help. You know, spicing things up would help. Trying different things would help. And that's where I'd probably suggest you guys start tinkering around. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech. And I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Or if you're watching it at night, goodbye and good night.